Our world lead today marks one week since Russia dusted off its Cold War playbook and detained American journalist Evan Gershkovich and accused him falsely of espionage. It's a charge that is by all accounts completely make-believe. A week later, the Wall Street Journal reporter has yet to even get consular access or meet with American officials. Secretary of State Antony Blinken today said this. In my own mind, there's no doubt that he's being wrongfully detained. Uh, by Russia, which is exactly what I said to Foreign Minister Lavrov when I spoke to him uh, over the weekend and uh, insisted that uh, Evan be released immediately. Joining us now, retired journalist Nicholas Daniloff. He was Moscow bureau chief for U.S. News and World Report in 1986 when he was falsely arrested and wrongfully detained in a KGB prison for 13 days, falsely accused of being a spy. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, Secretary Blinken says the U.S. is still preparing to officially declare this a wrongful detention, which would trigger new U.S. government resources to work toward his release. It's been a week. Is the Biden administration working quickly enough here? Well, the fact that Biden's name has been attached to all of this strikes me as important, and that the Secretary of State is also involved. So something is going on. When the Russians falsely accused you of being a spy, did they even bother to try to come up with any sort of junk evidence to use against you, or did they just make the claim and lock you up? Uh, they made the claim and locked me up. You were detained just days after an employee of the Soviet Union's mission to the United Nations had been arrested in New York, and both you and that employee were released after two weeks of diplomatic negotiations. Um, why do you think Russia, for the first time since the Cold War, is now detaining this, detaining this American journalist, accusing him of espionage? Do you, do you think it's the same basic idea? A, a Russian spy was arrested, therefore they took this American journalist and they just want to do a swap, as seemed to be the case with you? That may, <laughs> that may well be the case. I think that uh, bureaucracies, you know, uh, remain in place, and they're often guided by the practice of the past. So uh, if this seems like a throwback to the past, it probably is. Gershkovich is being detained in the same center where they detained you in 1986, a place that has a long, intimidating history that dates back to Stalin's purges. If Evan could hear you right now, um, what would be your message or advice to him as he sits essentially in, in the same place you sat? Well, <clears throat> when I was in that prison, uh, the one thing that I did not have any access to was information from the outside. Uh, I got information from visits from my wife. And uh, so I think one of the things that he could do is demand to be informed about what's going on in the outside world. And they probably won't comply with that, but you make the demand anyway. Do you think there's anything to the fact that both you and Evan are of Russian descent uh, that, that might be behind why they did this? I would think that uh, that is not much of a connection. In my case, uh, the Russian connection was helpful in that uh, I could get on with uh, the people surrounding me. Uh, I could speak with them uh, in Russian, and uh, that created uh, a somewhat more friendly atmosphere within the prison. You were released, thankfully, after 13 days of detention. This was while Mikhail Gorbachev was president of the Soviet Union. Um, given that we're dealing with Vladimir Putin here, who seems a much more nefarious individual than Mikhail Gorbachev, perhaps, um, are you worried at all that Gershkovich's story will not end as quickly or as smoothly as yours did? Uh, it may not. It may not, because uh, for the very reason that, that you mentioned. All right, Nick Daniloff, it's been an honor talking to you, sir. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Well, it's a pleasant uh, being on your program. Thank you, sir. Have a good day.